Hi there. The purpose of this particular video is to learn how to set up a very simple baseline projection um, in LISP. Uh, we're starting this video with the assumption that you already have downloaded Spectrum onto your computer. So that's the first thing we're going to do here together. We're going to pull it up. And this is the home screen that we get once we open Spectrum. Something that's important for us to take a look at is over here we've got the version of the software. So Spectrum is being continually updated um, because of new data, because of new research um, that becomes available and the software itself also gets updated um, fairly regularly. So it's important to just keep in mind which version of the software we have and that's displayed up here in this area. So our, the focus of today will be on Spectrum, so we can go ahead and open Spectrum. The first thing we're going to do here is to create a new projection. So there is multiple ways of doing that. The, there's one over here, we can click New Projection. We can come up here and select uh, this icon for New, or we can go into File, New Projection. And then this uh, projection manager window comes up. And the purpose of this projection manager is really to set up the default settings of our projection that we're going to use later. So very first thing is to give our projection a name. So we're going to call our projection Senegal um, 2015 to 2025 baseline. There is no official naming convention for list projections, but um, the more you, lose, you use lists, the more projection names you will end up having on your computer. So it's always very helpful uh, for yourself and for anyone else that you want to share your work with to use a name that is fairly descriptive. So here I have my country, um, my years, um, and baseline, meaning I'm not going to change anything. Um, in my baseline projection. It's also a good idea to have a folder where you save all of your list projections so you can navigate up here and select which folder you'd like to put your list projections in just for you to be able to find um, your projections at a later date. So once we have a name in there we can go ahead and save. So I've named it 2015 to 2025 so as you can guess our first year is going to be 2015, and our final year is going to be 2025, which is already selected. You can see that I could go further into the future, but for the purposes, or in the past for that matter, but for the purpose of this demonstration, we're just going to do a simple 10-year projection. You'll notice that the uh, DEMPROJ module has already been selected. This is because, well, this module provides all of the demographic information for our country. So it'll provide deaths, it'll pro uh, provide population structure, it'll provide fertility. So without that population um, information, we can't build anything really. So it will always be selected by default. The next one that we commonly would use would be the FAM plan, so the family planning um, module. This allows us to, if we have more information on detailed family planning interventions and want to model their impact on our overall mortality, um, this is where we would be able to, uh, if we activate this model, then we can enter that more detailed um, coverage uh, information. Um, we could also select the AIM module, which behaves similarly in so far as this is a place where we could put more information, enter more data if we have it on HIV and AIDS um, specific interventions. And finally, we have our live safe tool, which as you can guess is the focus of today's demonstration here. So I'm definitely going to want to select this one. You'll have noticed that the AIM module automatically selected as soon as I selected the Live Safe tool. This is because um, 
this will always happen if the country has a high HIV um, or AIDS prevalence in that country. So these are the modules that I want to use for this projection. The last thing I'm missing is my default data. So I have to go into my default data and find the country that I want to focus on. So you'll remember we had called this projection Senegal 2015-2025. Um, so I can scroll down all the way to Senegal. Here we go, we've selected Senegal. You'll see over here that I have the very last uh, default data source displayed. So for our demographic information, it dates back to 2017. Our AIM module is relying on the UNAIDS um, survey of 2017. And list down here is going to be relying on the DHS survey of 2016. This recording is made in 2018, so all of these are fairly recent data sources. So once I've selected and reviewed all of that, I can come down and click OK. Before moving on, I just want to do a quick review to make sure everything's fine. So I have a name. Um, I have a location that I will remember. Um, I have a first year. I have a final year for my projection. I've chosen not to select family planning, um, but I have selected AIM, um, DEMPROJ, as well as LIST. And I have a country down here uh, whose default data I will be importing. So everything looks good. We can go ahead and click OK. You'll notice down here there is quite a bit of calculation going on. So it's going to take a few seconds for our projection to be created. We just have to be a little bit patient. And there we go. Our projection is created. You'll notice that now, whereas before this only said spectrum, we can now see um, the name of our projection up here. And it also appears down here. Um, at this point, this isn't particularly important, but it is good for you to keep in mind because once we start having multiple projection open, um, down here is where you can easily see which one of your projections is the active one. So just something for you to keep in mind. And unfortunately, LIST does not automatically save um, this. So the first thing we want to do uh, to make sure all of our hard work doesn't disappear is to just come up here and click that floppy disk or click Save down here, their equivalent. And there we go. We've successfully created our projections.